EB Assist ADTF3 Development Environment for Automated Driving EB Assist ADTF The Automotive Data and Time Triggered Framework is the tool for developing, validating, visualizing, and testing of advanced driver assistance and automated driving features. It combines a development environment with an interactive work environment so you can use the graphical user interface and existing modules to create new configurations without writing a single line of code. With improved performance and optimized data processing, the new EB Assist ADTF3 allows you to take your automated driving development to the next level. This video will show you how easy it is to create and process a simple project in EB Assist ADTF3. We will use an artificial intelligence-based traffic light detection algorithm for this configuration as one example for a crucial aspect of automated driving that needs to be covered in future cars. As an initial step, we start the configuration editor. First, a new project needs to be created. Let's give it a name. We have now created a new project with default session, graph, and system. The default session defines what system is loaded and which streaming and filter graph is used. The streaming graph defines the connections to the outer world records and replays data from hard disk, connects hardware devices, etc. The filter graph is for data processing and is not connected to the outer world. We can use the default setup here, so now let's switch to the filter graph and add some filters. To do that, we go to the components window where you can see all available filters. We will use the object detection filter and a demo video display so you can visualize the video output. You can simply use drag and drop to define the data flow between software components and execute this immediately to see the effects. Next, we need to add a sample stream to connect the pins. In this case, we name it Video Out. Afterwards, let's connect the pins. Now we need to configure the filter and change the parameters as needed. To connect the streaming graph now, you need to add a streaming import, give it a name, and connect it to the object detection filter. The filter graph is now set up, so let's switch to the streaming graph editor, where, as you can see, the default filter graph is already integrated. This is automatically done by setting up the project session. We will now add a streaming source, in this case the ADTF DAT file player for replaying a DAT file. Next, we have to select the file we want to replay. Now, we create the pins from the playback file using the context menu. Then, with a sample stream added to the left side of the default filter graph dock where the name must be the same, we can connect the output of the ADTF DAT file player to our filter graph. Now the graphs and the session are configured. Let's now finally configure the system. In the system editor, as you can see, there are several services available. These services are automatically added as they are needed for our configuration. We want to add some more services for additional functionality. Namely, the log view to visualize log messages and the sample stream trace view to see the activity on the sample streams. As you can see, all necessary plugins were already automatically added to the system. The project is successfully set up now and we can start the session. Right-click on Default Session and press Launch via GUI Control. The launcher will need to read the file, so you have to save it beforehand. 
With the ADTF GUI control, we can control the launcher. On the right, you can see the ADTF session UI, containing the log view which we added manually to the system before. On the left, you can now see the ADTF GUI control, which allows you to control the session. To initialize the session, simply click the Init button, which will then load the filters. Now you can see the output of the configuration, including the sample stream and the video widget. Let's now go for the data processing and run the system by clicking the Run button. As you can see, the system correctly recognizes that the traffic lights are changing from red to green. That is it. Processing finished. We have successfully created and processed a project in EB Assist ADTF3. Are you curious in learning more? Reach out to us for your free evaluation license to experience EB Assist ADTF3. We also offer dedicated training to bring you up to speed. Check out our web shop.